What's going on everybody? Alonzo here with GulfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making chicken bacon ranch chicken wings. Chicken bacon ranch wings. Whatever the name is, these are just something that I randomly thought of in my head. The other day I was editing a TikTok for the chicken bacon ranch quesadilla that we made a while back. I just made a shorter version of it so I could repost that great content that we had originally put out and I got to thinking. Chicken bacon ranch sounded amazing. And at the same time, I really wanted some chicken wings. So then I told my wife, I'm gonna combine the two and we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm not really sure what to expect. This is something that I literally thought of on the fly. We have not practiced it. You guys are gonna see it today and hopefully everything turns out delicious. For starters, we have some nice chicken wings here that we're gonna season over top with Southern Hospitality. That is our sweet barbecue seasoning. The reason we wanted to use something sweet and smoky is because our ingredients that we're going to add here in just a little bit are going to be perfect for that savory bite that's just going to really tie everything together. And once we're done seasoning, this is exactly what I want to see. I make sure to season every single side of these wings because I want that nice sweet flavor in every single bite. So we'll leave these here for just a few minutes. We are going to be using our Weber Jumbo Joe today. We're going to set that up and then we're going to get these wings on the pit. And while the charcoal is getting nice and hot, we wanted to get inside and make our ranch. We're cheating today. We're using the Hidden Valley Ranch Packet. No big deal. It still turns out really dang good. It's one of my favorite ways to eat ranch, but we like to let it set for at least five to 10 minutes. I find that it's a lot better that way, and I do like my ranch just a little bit cool. We're gonna start with one packet of Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning. We'll dump that into a bowl. We're adding one cup of blue plate mayonnaise. I've never had this, but Malcolm Reed says it's the best, so I'm trusting him. Last but not least, we need a cup of milk and then we're stirring. Now we're gonna let this set until it's time to eat. All right, I have about three fourths of a chimney of B&B charcoal briquettes that I lit up. They're pretty much all the way lit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these in to the bottom of my charcoal grill and we're gonna spread them all over. Now the reason I want to spread them all over is because I'm looking for a crispy wing today, but that is going to mean that I need to stay very, very close to this grill. Chicken, the grease will cause some major flare-ups, so we just want to make sure that we're flipping consistently in order to get that nice crispy skin and we get it really, really well cooked. Charcoal in, grate on. Now we're gonna start putting our wings right over the coals. You guys can hear that sizzle. It is very hot. Like I said a few minutes back, do not leave. We do not want these to burn. Just about two minutes later, I'm gonna start flipping. Like I said, I'm getting some great color here. You guys can see it there, but I do not want this to burn. So I'm gonna continuously be flipping. If you guys have followed the channel, you already know that I want to cook my wings to somewhere around 200 degrees internal. I think it just has a much better texture and the wing can handle it. Don't be afraid to try it out. And just a few minutes later, we've been flipping these consistently, but you could see right here on these few pieces, those marks, that's exactly what I want. I want that char. That's gonna be incredible flavor. So obviously I could tell that it's hotter over here than it is over here. So the reason I know that is because these are obviously cooking a little bit faster than these. So if you need to, you can move everything around just to make sure you're getting a nice even cook, but we're not gonna talk about this flipping anymore. I'm just gonna keep flipping consistently until all of these are done. Do not forget. Actually, you know what, I'm lying. I'll bring you back when I probe these because I wanna talk one more time about what temperature I'm taking these to. So it's been around 30 minutes on these wings and we have been consistently flipping them. If you guys can take a look at these wings, they just look so incredible. That char, like we talked about earlier, is exactly what I'm after. So I just wanna make sure that I don't burn anything up. That's why I'm consistently flipping. But we talked a little bit earlier about what I'm looking for on the internal temperature. And I told you guys at least 200 degrees. You can see these are creeping up to 206. I'm completely fine with that. I promise you these are gonna still be tender and juicy. If you've never tried that, definitely, definitely the next time you make wings, try it, come back to this video, leave us a comment, let us know that you did and that you super duper loved them because I can just about guarantee you that you will. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and get these off. We're gonna let them rest for just a minute because I don't want them to overcook too much, but we are gonna throw some cheese on top. We're gonna melt it up, and that is where we're gonna get our chicken bacon ranch from. Now that our chicken wings are done, I've laid them on this butcher paper and then on a baking sheet, kind of like nachos. I'm gonna put this on the Traeger in order to melt the cheese here in just a second because my Jumbo Joe's kind of running out of fuel, but that's no big deal. So I have some Monterey Jack with jalapenos in it that I'm just gonna put all over. And yes, I'm gonna make sure that every single piece of these chicken wings is fully cheesy. Next up, I have some bacon that we made on the stove. I'm just gonna put it all over top. And now I'm gonna put some of that Hidden Valley Ranch all over top of our chicken, our bacon, and our cheese. Now on the Traeger until the cheese is nice and melty. Last but not least, let's top with some green onions just to bring out that color and a nice little pop of flavor here in the end. About an hour later, our chicken bacon ranch chicken wings are done. And I'll tell you what, they look even better than I imagined them in my head. So before I try these out, I do want to tell you guys, if you have any cool ideas like that, Go out and try them. That is exactly what I did today. So I took a picture of them and I sent them to one of my buddies. And he was like, dude, that kind of looks like the Domino's chicken bites that they do. And I was like, man, I didn't even think about that. So I thought that this was like some super duper crazy cool idea. But it's obviously probably been done many a times. But I felt pretty cool about thinking about this one. Let's get right in and take a bite. Looks amazing. Mmm. Yes. Clean bone, sweet from Southern Hospitality. I get the bacon, I get the cheese, I get the green onions, the ranch. Everything really comes together very, very well. That is something that I was actually kind of scared wasn't going to be good. But that was so damn good. This is something that I tell you, you really got to try this one. And if you think of any other good ideas, if you think of putting cheese and something else on top, I guarantee you, that would be really good. I've never in my life put wings, I'm sorry, I've never in my life put cheese on top of wings, but it works. Chicken bacon ranch, chicken wings are absolutely incredible. You've got to try them. Everybody have a great Labor Day. Stay safe. Please do not drink and drive. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.